Anthony Chan joins us right now. Now, he is an economist. I don't want an economist's answer on this one. I want something clean cut. I don't want you to tell me on the one hand it might do this, on the one hand it might do that. No, I want a clean cut answer. Are we going to get a recession this year? Clean cut answer, uh, Stuart. Uh, in any given year, the probability is almost 19% of getting into a recession. <laughs> given everything that we know today, the probability is over 40%. But for me to give you the, the super clear cut answer, I would love the probability of something to be 100 percent, and we're not there yet. Because when you look at the real Fed funds rate, research I've done in my latest Substack article shows that right now the real Fed funds rate is like minus 7.6 percent. Historically, going all the way back from the times that you and I were little kids 65 years ago, guess what? We've never seen a period where the real Fed funds rate was minus 7.7 percent 12 mo months before entering a recession. My research shows uh, 12 months before, it's about 2.5 percent plus, not negative. And even six months before, it's plus 2.6 percent. We are at minus 7.7 percent. That tells you why there is room for Jay Powell, the Fed chair, to be more aggressive, and he will. That will continue to increase the probability, but we're not at a situation where it's 100 percent. But yes, there's a much likely, higher likelihood of a recession today than there was a year ago. No question. That was a very good answer. That, 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 that was very good, Anthony Chan. I really admire that. You managed to navigate through some very difficult waters right there. Anthony, I'm sorry I'm out of time. I'd like to pursue that, but next time we will. Anthony Chan, everyone, an economist who gives you a direct answer. Not bad at all. Okay. All right.